I'm scared. I'm here for two reasons. Number one, I want to help you become a better leader. And number two, I want to help you help others. So in group dynamics, um, the group eventually gets to the status called a journey. And that is when the group ends. Um, there's a sense of closure. There's some sad feelings that the group's leaving. Maybe friends are separating. Um, but it's also a time to look back at all the things that got accomplished by the group, all the challenges that were overcome, and all the skills that were learned. It's a very valuable time in the group's process, and it's a time period that needs to be given um, a lot of respect and cannot be un um, undermined um, or diminished. So I'm going to kind of cut this up into two bits because there really are two different types of groups. There's perpetual groups that never really have an ending, uh, a company, a nonprofit, and then there's groups like student groups or clubs that definitely have definite beginning and ends. Um, so first I'm going to talk about ones with a set end date. If there's a group with a set end date, whether that's a day, a week, a month, a year, however long the lifetime of the group, it's important to make sure that you look at the ending and that you give adequate time for reflection and for celebration. So you need to make sure that you plan a party of some sort and that with that party you give a chance for individuals to talk about what happened to them. Um, now maybe if your group's several hundred people, you're not going to have time to have everyone talk to the whole group, but you could have everyone talk in smaller groups uh, by department or um, the people they worked with most closely. It's important to give time for people to say that piece. Um, there's two major emotions, regardless of what kind of group, that are key components of the adjourning phase. The first one is sadness. Everyone's sad because the group's coming to a close. And even the people who are excited about an ending, they still feel a little sad. The other one is this uh, people are going to need closure. They're going to look um, for closure. And that looks different for different people. But by giving people a chance to talk about the experiences they had and share one last time with the group, reflect on skills they've learned, things they've done, especially if there's a set end date, that's going to give them a lot of closure. Um, and you need to own up to the sadness. You need to admit that it's sad, that the group's ending, and that some people are moving on, and maybe you won't see them again for a long time or maybe ever. But that's okay. That's a natural part of life. And so you need to uh, accept that, own up to it, and address it. Now, um, so with a, the with a closing end date, I, I definitely think it's important to make sure we have a party, and that maybe a couple days before the party, depending on the life of the group, maybe that's a couple weeks, Maybe that's an hour um, before the ending. You give a chance for this talking and closure and acknowledgement and reflection, um, and that you just don't pack it in at the very, very end. Uh, now, with a perpetual group, that's something's always there's always turnover in leadership. There's always turnover in followers, um, a company, a nonprofit. You, the adjourning is going to look a lot different, um, and it's going to be a major impact when a leader, a person in the leadership role, leaves. Um, and maybe they don't leave the whole organization, maybe they just transfer departments um, or change branches. They're still there, but it's going to be different. You need to give that acknowledgement at that time. Especially if the person's done a lot of good work, you need to acknowledge that person and you need to praise them. Um, and you need to give everyone an opportunity to understand and address this change. Um, I think that if you don't, you're not doing justice to the group and you're not doing justice to the work that that person did. Um, so. Um, the adjourning stage is one that's sad, but it's also happy because someone's going on to go do something else. So it's definitely important that you address it. Uh, so I hope this helps you with your group and planning out adjourning activities. I've got a whole boatload of them and I can help you kind of think of some reflection. If you're interested, contact me. My name is Skip. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go live the wheel.